Hello children, I hope and pray that you all are having a blessed and wonderful time at home and keeping safe. This Sunday, we are celebrating a special day. Does any of you all know what this Sunday is? This Sunday is Parenting Sunday. A Sunday that we celebrate and remember our parents, our guardians, our grandparents and aunties and uncles who look after us. Is a day we appreciate them and say thank you for everything that you do for us. So today is going to be a special lesson for all of us. Since it's Parenting Sunday this week, let's first have a look at what we are going to do for our handwork. Hello children, so for our two handworks for Parenting Sunday, we will be needing coloured A4 sheets, gum, a ruler, an eraser, a pencil, a pair of scissors, paint brushes, watercolors, a rag, a jar or a cup for the water to clean your brushes, some ribbon, cello tape, and a piece of newspaper or old calendar page, and two pieces of board cut to the size of an A4. So first, we have to paste our coloured A4 onto the board that is the A4 size. I have selected two colours. You can select two colours of your choice. It could be your father's or your mother's or your guardian's favourite colour. So let's paste these two onto the board first. Once we have pasted our A4s onto the board, we need to get two white color A4s and we are supposed to mark a border around the A4 sheet that is about an inch thick on both sheets and we have to cut along it. So let's do that next. After we've cut the white A4 sheet, see it fits in to the other A4 sheet nicely and it looks like there is a frame around it. Now let's paste both these A4 sheets onto the colored A4 sheet. Make sure that the white A4 sheet is in the middle. So let's paste it. Right, now the white A4 is pasted on the colored A4. Now the fun part. We are going to start painting. Before you start painting, lay out a piece of paper so that you don't get paint on your table. Now, auntie has got the water I need and also a small saucer to put my paint in. We are going to paint half of this page. We are going to draw a big tree and a small tree here. So let's get started. Now we painted the two tree barks, the big tree bark and the small tree bark. Now you can use your finger to do the leaves of the tree. So carefully wet your finger, mix a bit of green paint and start making the leaves of the tree like this. Right, now we've finished the big tree. Now it's time for us to do the small tree. So the same way you did the big tree, you can do the small tree like this. 
The small tree hasn't grown yet to be like the big tree. Right. Now, the small tree is also done. Now, you can decorate the rest of the picture in any way you want. Auntie decorated the picture with some grass and I painted yellow behind and I added some fruits with my finger as well. Now, I also pasted another colored piece of paper on the bottom part and now we are going to write a message to our father, our guardian, our Sia or our uncle who looks after us saying thank you. So, auntie wrote dear and then you can write the name of the uncle who is looking after you, your guardian, dear Tati, Sia, Papa, Dada, anything you call your guardian or your parent and then I've written thank you for loving me, protecting me, providing for me and taking care of me. God bless you. I love you. You can write your name here after that. You can decorate the bottom of the page with anything you want as well. Auntie is going to take blue color and put some blue color finger hearts at the bottom like this. This way and this way. See, that's a heart shape. Now all that's left to do is to paste a piece of ribbon at the back of the picture so that after you gift it to your father or your guardian, they can hang it anywhere they want to. So let's paste this at the back now. Right, our parenting day handwork for our father or our guardian is done. Now for our mother's or guardian's handwork, we are going to paint some flowers with our fingers. After Auntie drew the stems and put fingerprint leaves, Auntie cut out a pot shape on a pink color piece of paper. Now we can write our message to our mother or our guardian here. Now Auntie wrote dear and then you can write Amma, Ami, Auntie, your guardian's name and say thank you for loving me, taking care of me and for helping me grow. God bless you, I love you and you can write your name here. Just like this pot is helping these flowers grow and become beautiful, our mother or our guardians are doing the same thing. Now, since we have a frame right round and there is nothing on it, you can use your finger and paint to decorate the right round of it. And decorate right round the frame with fingerprints. Now all we have to do is turn it over, make sure all the paint is dry and put our ribbon on the back. So let's do that. Now our handwork is done. Auntie hopes that you have fun making your very own Parenting Sunday handwork. You can make it for your parents your guardians, your spiritual parents or godparents, even your grandparents and aunties and uncles who are looking after you. There are some aunties and uncles in your churches who don't have children. 
it would be really really nice if you could make a few handwork for them as well did you know when god gave moses the 10 commandments the fifth commandment out of the 10 commandments was about your parents let's see in exodus chapter 20 verse 12 it says honor your father and mother what does honor your father and mother mean it means to respect your parents to be obedient to them to listen to what they say because god saw that it was very important that children obey and listen to their parents it was very important to god so he put it in the 10 rules that he gave moses so long ago and it is still important till today as well in the new testament in the book of john chapter 15 verse 12 it says my command is this love each other as i have loved you that is something that jesus told his disciples he said to love everyone because i jesus have loved you so then can you not love your parents no just because they are strict with you and sometimes punish you or scold you for doing naughty things does that mean we don't love them anymore no we just get a little angry sometimes because amma is always scolding me or tata is always telling this and that why are they always telling me things why are they nagging me and always saying do this do that because they care for you they tell don't do this you might become uh, injured or you might fall ill if you do that you know don't watch a lot of tv you have to study because studies are important things like this sometimes might annoy us might hurt us a bit but they are doing it for our own good so just because they say things like that doesn't mean we don't love them anymore no no they do such a lot for us all the things we have from where did we get it our parents provided it for us our school books the books we read for our entertainment the clothes we wear the food we eat the places they take us all of this is because our parents and because our parents love us so much remember we all come from different families and sometimes it might be hard to obey or honor your parents but remember you are here today because of your parents and it makes god very happy when we respect and love our parents let's end today's sunday school lesson with a prayer let us pray thank you father lord for my parents and guardians for my spiritual parents and my god parents for my grandparents and my aunties and uncles thank you for all the people you have put in my life to look after me and to provide for me and to love me jesus help me to be an obedient child who honors her or his parents jesus i love you thank you for everything you do for me i pray this all in jesus name amen Till I see you next week with another interesting Bible story. Please take care of yourselves. Be obedient to your parents. And remember that Jesus and God our Father is always there for us and loves us unconditionally. We can always pray to Jesus whenever we are feeling down or alone or sad. Because... Jesus loves you very very much see you soon bye